Um, it's primarily to do with uh, widespread voter apathy, both on the part of the broader population and, it's, and also to do with a boycott called for by the protest movement itself. Um, turnout in the first election in Iraq in 2005 was at 80%. Last time it had gone down to 44.5%. And as you said, the latest statistic, the preliminary result being uh, given by the Iraqi Electoral Commission is that it was at 41% this time. Um, so that tells you a lot about the, you know, the, the kind of curve of um, degradation of public trust in the de democratic process. It was even as low as 31% in East Baghdad, which accounts for a lot of the very, very empty looking polling stations that we saw yesterday. And so, like I say, it's about, it's about apathy, that nothing has changed. There's a, a kind of entrenched political elite here, which uh, people see as really only serving to enrich itself. Um, so some people just couldn't be bothered to vote, basically, and others have actively called for a boycott. Um, many of the protest movement have been ass assassinated over the course of the last year, and, and this is kind of them uh, biting back, if you will, trying to delegitimize de the vote. So particularly in the Shiite South, uh, um, there's been calls just to not show up on a political level. Uh, so, yeah, a mixture of uh, a boycott called for and, and just general apathy and disillusionment with Iraq's political class. And Jack, the, the results 